Hello, hello. A couple of reflections on today's readings. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I lack. I want to offer a little bit of a tweaked version of uh, from the Acts of the Apostles. Of uh, This is how my, my understanding of sin is the symptom of when we forget that we are one with love. And when we forget that we are love, that that is our truth. Um, and also that the word repent, actually, when you break it down to um, the Greek uh, and the Hebrew means uh, metanoia, to, uh, to turn around, to change your mind, to go behind, beyond the mind that you have. And so I offer this. Change your mind, beloved, and allow Christ's love to wash away any voice that is telling you you are anything other than love, than beautiful. Because, beloved, it is only once we allow ourselves to hear those words in our hearts will we be able to enter forgiveness for ourselves and for others. That is the voice of the Good Shepherd. The voice of the Good Shepherd is love and tenderness and kindness and mercy. It is Jesus' voice of complete, inclusive love and mercy that liberates our hearts. As Maya Angelou says, love liberates. And there is no one-way liberation. When you are liberated, you will invite and allow others to do the same. And the voice of our shepherd calls our, calls our names. And your name is Beloved. When Mary Magdalene goes to the tomb, while well, it's still dark to look for Jesus, and the, she only recognizes Jesus, her shepherd, when he says, he says her name. And the way he says her name can only be that of compassion and love and understanding. It sees beyond all of these other things that, that, that fill us and, and, and that beat us down. Jesus says, I love you. Any other voice of shame or hate or you have to make 39 payments of 99999999 for God to love you, um, those are the voices of the thief. And I think that that's a lot of what our scriptures talk about today too. The thief says, oh, just, you know, click on Amazon, boop, buy that and you'll be better. Or it says, just have a couple drinks, wash away that fear, and you, you're fine. Um those are the voices of, of, of the thief. This idea of a, a drive-through spirituality of quick fixes that don't actually exist. Um, that's the catch, is that the voice of love invites you to hold your hand through your pain, and not, not to bypass it, not, um, not to avoid it. Jesus says, you're okay, and I love you. Love says, you're, it's okay, I love you, I hold you, I walk through you with this. And any other voice that tries to make you think that you lack, that is not the shepherd's voice. That is not the voice of love, the voice of forgiveness, and the voice of mercy. The Lord is my shepherd, and there is nothing that I lack. There is nothing you lack, beloved. You are love. You are loved. Allow that to be your guide towards healing, towards actually letting those tears fall, towards telling others that you love them and very first telling you that you love yourself. May you hear your name being called beloved always. Grace and peace, friends.